Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. All right, and we're back. We are in the castle. We're looking for Zelda. And we got a lot of guards and some limited direction to go in. Oh yeah, stairs. And when you see ledges without a handrail, you have the ability to jump down. That will provide some interesting opportunities later. For the moment. Oh, probably should also add... Uh, like some of the console games. Hang on. Ow! Thank you. Like some of the console games, uh, these levels will remain cleared as you go. But the bad guys will return if you leave and then come back. There's no memory that persists beyond, you know, you occupying that space. So I walk out that door, I come back in, all those guys that I fought, they're back. Also, um, even less fun, if I die and return back here, uh, all those guys will also be back. So you could be down to the last Yahoo in the last corner of the corridor you're in. And uh, I got a rupee. I got a rupee. I got a rupee. Hey, 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 hey. Um, <laughs> you could be down to the last Yahoo in the last corridor. And if he knocks you off, guess what? They're all back. All right. There, there are stuff under the pots. Uh, I want to say they're all hearts, though. Well, since I'm going to go back the left side. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no benefit to collecting those if you, uh, if you already have a full health bar. Yeah, I every now and again I know that there's some of them that have uh, that have money in them. Oh, almost forgot. I don't know if you noticed in the top, there is a new item on the list, and that is the key. We're gonna need keys to uh, unlock various doors in the dungeon, and eventually you'll get a skeleton key for the dungeon that will give you everything. Oh, oh, right away! There we go. See, there we go. We got a key. Uh, they are not key. Oh, and that's right. There's the map. That's what I was looking for. You got the map. You can use it to see your current position and the rest of the dungeon by pressing X. So there we go. Revel in the retro. <laughs> so we've got the second floor that we haven't visited yet. We got the first floor. We are currently on basement one. The map is also letting us know that we got a basement two and a basement three. And we can see that they're not very big yet. And if you look, you'll see that the areas that we have been are in a lighter blue than the areas that we have not been. So that is, uh, that is also... Oh, and the exits to the outside world have arrows. And the oh, those little yellow, yellow vague arrow-like things. And the, uh, the, the doors to stairwells that move you to different floors within the dungeon are those little yellow dashes. All right. Let's, uh, oh, that's right. It's in reverse. All right. The gamepad I'm using. <laughs> Let's jump behind here. Actually, you can knock him off the edge. But I think he's actually got some... Ow! I was hoping he had money. I'd like to rob him for his five rupees. Or a rupee. You know, whatever he happened to have on him. Oh. <laughs> okay. You can't knock him over like that. You can also pick stuff up and throw him at him. Thrown objects actually do more damage than uh, your sword attack, at least initially. 
a as you go, you'll be able to uh, do more damage with your attack as you get the Master Sword, as you get various other items. And, uh, yeah, all sorts of fun. Let's, uh... Oh. I think what I want to do first is... Where does this go? Trying to remember. No, that just takes me back to the beginning. Okay. Short term memory, something or other. I know that there's a room in here that I need to I need to get to, but I don't remember where it is. No, nope, that's the way I came. All right. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, right, that's just another way up to the balcony that we've seen going around, so in we go. Hi, friend! It seems we're locked in Mortal Kombat. No, that's a different game. There we go. No... Okay. I was about to walk through the door without pointing out there's no key... Uh, <laughs> there... That's a locked door. I have no key. There's only one other door option, and oh, now I am locked in Mortal Kombat with you. Finish him! Ow! No, no, no. Oh, bother. Oh, I don't miss that part, though. Ow! I do not miss that super annoying beeping noise when you're low on life, when you're down to your last heart. There we go. We got the boomerang. Now that we've got two items, it's letting us know how to pick and select. The boomerang does give us some interesting combat options. It will let us uh, stun people. Stunning as that is. Let's uh, head down with the most annoying beeping noise possible. I deeply apologize for that. I have spent far too much time listening to that uh, way back when. Ah! I mean, I'll take the money. What I really need is right there. Oh. There we go. Hi, friend. Oh. You don't stay stunned forever. Ow! You hurt. Oh! Ow! Just out of range. Stun and run, stun and run. There we go. There's the dungeon key. This is the big... Oh, sorry. The big key. As opposed to those little keys. This is the big key. It is the master key of the dungeon, and it can open doors that some of the smaller keys can't, and all the ones that it can. All right. Thank you, Anand Jr. I had a feeling you were getting close. Listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend. With strong magical powers. Do you understand? If you say not at all, she literally repeats everything she just said. So, yes. Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path. But first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Alright, first things first. Uh, by the by, if for some reason you forgot to pick up the lantern at the house, that first box that we got to next to the next to the torch, that would have had a lantern. If by some reason you forgot to get a lantern from either one of those two boxes, this box would give you the lantern. The game desperately, desperately wants you to get the lantern. It, it's part of what you're supposed to be rolling around with. All right, we're at basement two. Let's head on up. Basement one. I wouldn't mind finding a little more magic if we're being honest here. And oh, I thought those I thought those guys would have come back. No, it's here that they come back. I mean, I guess technically I could avoid all this, but uh. Hi, friend. 
I want them. I want the money. Oh. Ah, fine. I really wanted your money. And I should have been a little more careful about where I was knocking them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Cold, hard rupees. <laughs> Hi, friend. Nothing. Actually, what I could really use is one more heart. And I think, if I remember right, we're going to find that right around the corner here. Assuming these guys die. Assuming these guys don't take it from me. There we go. Oop. Nope. Both of you. Nope, no, 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 no. Stay there. Just like that. There we go. <sighs> Alright. I do not want to walk out that door. There's nothing out there for me yet. Just know that that takes you out to the castle wall. That will become important later. No. Keep open one of these is going to have uh, some more money. Although, honestly, early game, health is usually uh, the your primary objective. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. I'm not going to mug them for their money. I'm trying to keep an eye on time, too. And I know... Oh, ow! Okay. All those hearts that I... Hello? All those hearts that I was finding and really didn't want... I, I, I want them now. I could really use them right now. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside. And you should have picked up a lantern by now. I mean, <laughs> and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. So this is your chance to get the sense of there are push and pull mechanics. So we're doing our first push mechanic, and then we'll get to the pull in a minute. Well, not a literal minute, but soon enough. All right. Um, no, no, wrong, wrong button. Alright, uh, oh! Hello, rats. <laughs> Where did the rat get a rupee? Uh, <sighs> doggone it. Alright, let's, uh... I'm told that that is the official noise you're supposed to make is boop. Do, uh, oh. Here's my map. We do have, we're, we're starting on the second floor. We gotta make our way down into the basement. Ooh, good. Oh! Uh. Hmm. I was expecting those to stay lit for longer than that. Ooh. He's got an expensive one. Alright. You know what? I think I'll just leave that active. Uh, save me some trouble. Ow! You dirty rat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help that one. Oh! Oh! Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ow! No! 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 This is about to be bad, isn't it? Oh! 
Where did a snake get a rupee from? I'll take that for sure. Yep, that works too. Oh, I hate people that move randomly. Randomness is not my friend. Ooh. And what do you have? Ooh, a key. That uh might be key to my future endeavors. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Find the key to the left that opens the door to the north. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to Sanctuary. A show that will air a decade or so after this. Wait, no. Let's be careful. Thank you. Or, 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 <laughs> should I really show my age and go for the uh, cartoon that uh, somebody put out with a really sad-looking, vaguely Italian guy dressed in a Mario costume. Oh! Ooh. I'll take that. Alright. That was the door I came through. There appears to be nowhere else to go. Oh! <sighs> Bomb. Hmm. Hello. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, bother. I want all the other stuff in here. Um, I'm sorry if anybody here is looking for a speedrun. I didn't realize until I was double-checking my uh, knowledge of the game from the days of old that I didn't realize that uh, this game is very popular in the speedrunning community. Uh, I think it hit its peak in 2019 or somewhere thereabouts. Uh, where it was actually one of the top four games used in speedrunning competitions. It's still apparently a perennial favorite. Uh, although, if you're looking for speedruns, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna... I'm not... I'm not that guy. Oh! What a curious feature in the wall. Why, it almost looks like we could uh, blow that up if we had a bomb. I wonder if that's where we'll learn about bombs. Ah, gotcha. All right, getting them cash reserves up, that's for sure. Hey, friend. There we go. That's probably also why we got lights on. Matter of fact, while we got lights on, let me switch to the thing that doesn't use magic. Yeah. All right, was it one of these? There we go. Push, pull, everything. Everything. Ow. Whew. These guys have some cash. What's a rat doing with this kind of cash? How do I get his agent? I could buy a proper gamepad with that. Oh. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over. The switch over there? Lady, there's two of them. Hi. Nope. That one over there. Thank you. I, I know, I know. A whole bunch of snakes dropped in. Nope. <laughs> I think he just ran and impaled himself on my sword. All 
right. And now we learn that there are pull mechanics. Our tutorial level is amazing. Princess Zelda, you're safe. Is this your doing, Anon Jr.? I feel like that should have been read in an accusatory tone. It probably shouldn't have, but I feel like it should have. Yes, it was an engineer who helped me escape from the dungeon when I was captive by the wizard. Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. An engineer, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. As it will again and again in future installments of this franchise. Before that happens, before it's too late, for the first time, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here in a very obvious spot, very close to the castle. Oh wait, no, that's not what it says. I will hide the Princess Zelda here. <laughs> Don't worry, seek the elder. Yeah, I know, foreshadowing. Hey, th these were subtle hints when I was growing up. <laughs> do you understand? Yes, I don't want to go through that again. Although I do I do appreciate that unlike other games, this game allowed you to... Uh... Wait, do I have to be at the front? I didn't think I had to be at the front. Oh, come on, guys. For serious. There we go. You found a heart container. Your heart level increased. Hallelujah. Uh, there are... An, each heart fragment that we find is a quarter of a heart. When you find four quarters, you'll get a whole heart. And there's enough to add six more hearts? Six more hearts. Sorry, my memory is failing me here for a minute. And I'm not on that page. Uh, notes, notes, notes. Where are the notes about the heart-shaped box? <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't help it. Uh, table of contents? Hang on, I actually want to get this one right. Uh, heart pieces, there we go. There are 24 heart pieces allowing you to get an extra 6 hearts for 10 total. Alright, so... With all that done, let me go ahead and take a short break. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow is a live stream day. Current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live. And you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well, like CoffeeCraft Livestream Archives, Future Games Revisited Episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.